Calgary voters will decide whether Alberta's new premier wins a seat in the legislature. Today, the province announced the date for four by-elections, one of them for Jim Prentice in the riding of Calgary Foothills. Tom Vernon reports. Surrounded by supporters, Premier Jim Prentice ended all the speculation and kicked off four by-election campaigns. Today, I stand here as a candidate in the riding of Calgary Foothills. <laughs> Calgary will be the main battleground with three seats up for grabs after two more resignations. Jim Prentice is running to fill the seat vacated by Len Weber. Education Minister Gordon Dirks will try to win Calgary Elbow, which was held by former Premier Allison Redford. Calgary Police Sergeant Mike Ellis will try to replace Ken Hughes in Calgary West. This team will begin our work. Uh, off we go. We're ready to hit the doors and uh, to engage every voter. Uh, in these constituencies. Also hitting the doors will be the opposition parties as they look to make gains in the House. The PCs don't have a divine right to govern. They have a responsibility to represent. And at that, they have failed miserably. And this is a chance uh, for the public of Alberta to say so. The important issues, as far as we're concerned, are not scandal and airplanes, but health care, education, the environment and getting fair value for the resources that all Albertans own together. Of the four by-elections, Calgary, Calgary Elbow is the one most likely for the PCs to lose. Calgary political scientist Dwayne Bratt believes Gordon Dirks is in for a very tough fight and says Prentice is taking a big gamble with his education minister. It's Alison Redford's old writing, so the, the epicenter of people who feel betrayed by the former premier, as well, it was, it was hard hit by the, uh, the flood. And uh, there's still a lot of stuff that hasn't been dealt with from that, and a lot of blame to the government. But the premier is confident once the ballots are counted, the three seats in Calgary, along with Edmonton-Whitemutt, will once again go Tory blue. Tom Vernon, Global News.